Hey, I hope everybody's doing well and wanted to do a quick follow-up video regarding the remote access from EESDR V3. Um, then I'm just going to do a quick overview of the web HTML um, version of remoting in so you can view your radio over a, a web browser. I already did the other remote setup in, in that we had a problem with uh, the HTML version of that at that time due to a QT6 um, module that uh, wasn't working correctly. So that's resolved now. So uh, we're going to start the starter app. And at this point, I should be able to open up a web browser. And we're going to go to cloud.eesdr.com colon 5450 for the port number forward slash A-U-T-H dot HTML. This will allow you to authenticate to the cloud authentication server. And you're going to put your credentials in here. But these are the same credentials that you used when you set up your password for the uh, remote cloud uh, authentication. Whoops, I need to put the right one in there. And do a login. And then hopefully, if everything looks right here. Yep, so I'm authenticated to the cloud server. The cloud server sees my remote device. And I should be able to click connect here. Should take it a second. And I should be able to hit go. And we should have radio and audio. Let me let me move off of this and turn this volume down some, so we uh, can kind of walk through this real quick. Um, so currently, I'm on 40 meters. Um, here's your volume control, your RF gain control, which I'm going to turn down. And um, your band selector, your mode selector, your receive bandwidth, your step control. This is uh, going to fall underneath, you know, rolling the mouse wheel up and down. Okay, we go to, it's going to do it at 100 so we can kind of see this real quick. Okay. This controls the amount of pan adapter um, bandwidth that you receive, that you, eh, not receive, but that you see. So currently on, I think it was on, yeah, I'm defaulted to the default value here. If I move this to 31, <clears throat> 31, 2500, we should be able to slide this guy down and pretty much see all of 40 meters, which is a, total disaster with this contest. So let me move this off frequency for a little bit here. Um, here's your attenuator and your preamp, your antenna selectors. Again, remember, um, some of this is only going to apply, you know, VHF one is only going to apply to the two DX and the pro where, um, the, uh, the MB one, I believe has two individual VHF antenna inputs. So, um, you know, my case, VHF one is the only one that's going to work for anything here. If I go to two meters, um, your noise blanker, your automatic notch filtering, your low noise amplifier for two meters and your squelch control for two meters and for FM, um, uh, FM modes. So just kind of a quick walkthrough, but it is working now. We can kind of tune around on a couple of these stations real quick, I guess. Let me turn this up a little bit. Okay. 
at NK-1419, Tennessee. Thank you, number 197, United, N3KN. And then, again, you know, like I said, your bandwidth, your bandwidth is in here. By the way, you can grab a hold of the end of it and pull this open. So, yep, yeah, there's a whole nightmare of a mess uh, right there on receive bandwidth, okay? <laughs> so you can you can adjust this wherever you want. Normally, I listen around 4K, so close enough. But you can roll the mouse wheel to tune. Let me move off of this again so we can... You can roll the mouse wheel to, wheel to tune. You can click, mouse click up here. Uh, left click will go up. Right click goes down. So just go underneath whatever frequency or whatever portion of the frequency you want to change. And I think, I think, hold on a second here, I'm going to find out. No, I was going to say maybe you could manually... No, you can't. You have to use a mouse. I thought maybe you might have been able to manually enter it in there, but you doesn't appear that that is a possibility just yet. May not be a possibility at all. I don't know. Um, and then down here you have your um, your network information as far as your ping and your delays. So, again, I'm going to keep it short, but that is the web-based version of this now that we actually have a display that, that is working with the updated, corrected um, QT6 uh, web DLL uh, file. So, again, hope everybody had a good weekend, and uh, we'll uh, look forward to doing another update to V3 here pretty soon. Take care.